Alright, welcome back to Poke MMO. I am your host, Alexander Strife, and as you can see, we're slowly getting through the Nugget Bridge. This will be part two of the Nugget Bridge, because the first one and I was just screwing around and I had to fight my rival and it took me forever. So, anyway, that's kind of what we're working on now. Ah, Lass Ali. Ali. Lass froze the heck up. So that's a lag spike that's going to really turn out interesting later on. Loading. Hey, loading. Well, it's still Ally. Um, that kind of sucked, but, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to actually edit that out because I don't really see much of a point. Yeah, it happens. Um, let's see. Pikachu, Thundershock it. I am trying to level up Pikachu and Pidgey because they're kind of going to be my main weapons. Mostly because Misty's a water type trainer. I am probably going to end up taking out Geodude after this and using Geodude because Geodude is ground type and will be un godly useful against Lieutenant Surge. Now I'm going to switch off to Moonglow because this way I can start leveling a uh, series of uh, Pokemon instead of just like one or two. Ember. Um, one thing that will be really nice once my Moonglow learns Flamethrower because that's usually a pretty good... And Pikachu made it to level 13. Congratulations. Ember. I'm starting to think I'm just going to let uh, Magikarp take XP from the first uh, first Pokemon that I had, or the first part of the battle. And then just instead of swapping out constantly because it seems like it, sh it works better. What, is this Joey, like, he's got the, one of the Rattata and the top percentage of Rattata or some crap like that? Yes, everybody can be proud. I didn't curse that time. Yeah, I, I'm trying not. Ooh, Sand True! Ooh. Uh, Matchup did also level up, and it looks like he's about to level up again. Sand attack. Um, I am thinking about setting it up where I will actually have other people who play the game join me for this. I'm actually thinking about contacting the challenge accepted group and seeing if they're willing to come and make some guest ex appearances for me or uh, see if maybe Yogg's cast or some group. I'm a huge fan of people who are willing to step out of their comfort zone and try something different. Uh, I love watching people actually try something. And if you're a fellow Pokemon fan, hey, that works great. And Machop. Ooh, Seismic Toss. Heck yeah. Attack yeah, low kick is great and all. It's just I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead. We'll go with uh, seismic toss because if I remember correctly, seismic toss actually uh, does damage equal to the amount of or whatever level your Pokemon is. Um, yeah, let's find out. Seismic toss, gravity. F yep. So right now it's not all that great. But get into like farther along, that's gonna be awesome. Oh, Butterfree. Yeah, you guys a minute ago I just heard my Skype going off. Uh one of my best friends just contacted me. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually see if one of these times I can get him on for like one of my Minecraft or a survival horror. I've got a few ideas of what I want to do. I think uh, after I get through Lieutenant Surge, I'm gonna record probably me going through and doing SCP containment breach because I am uh, I'm I I love SCPs and it's a lot of fun reading through them and some of them I'm actually kind of jealous about because there's an SCP um, that has pretty much it's a box of pizza that is just constantly got pizza in it and if anybody knows me all that well they know I love pizza like I used to work at CC's Pizza for five years before the military that's how much I love CC's or pizza in general but it'll make your favorite type of pizza no matter what it is or who normally makes it and that's one I wish I had because that is friggin awesome I'm gonna try probably sooner or later my hand at writing my own creepy pasta, and I have a few ideas for possible SCPs. I I think it would be fun, and at the same time I'm kind of nervous because I don't want it to be bad. I want it to actually be good, so people are like, "Hey, this is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll follow this guy." And I just. I want to give something back to the community that I enjoy so much. I'll trade anything for a Pikachu. What in the blue blazes is a Pikachu? This is one of those perfect troll moments where you can harass someone. Like, just be a total asshole and everybody would roll except for the person that's being treated like tar <clears throat> so that's kind of where I'm going right now um, I'm almost through with the last one and Butterfree gained 142, Magikarp gained 142 Let's see how much he has. Once I'm almost there. I need three more levels, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Congratulations! You beat our five trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! Oh my gosh! It's a nugget! I love how the music changes when this guy mentions Team Rocket. And how the game doesn't give you a choice. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse! OBJECTION! I will refuse it! Where's Machop? Magikarp! Well, since Magikarp's so close to leveling, I might swap out for both battles. I mean, it, and then I... Uh, I'm just enjoying myself. Butterfree was wrapped by Ekans. What, did Ekans bust out a rhyme or something? Like, I don't know. Eminem or something like that? Poison Sting. Ooh! I might be in trouble. Confusion. There we go. Butterfree took care of that. 99. Butterfree dinged. Butterfree is trying to learn Sleep Powder, but Butterfree can't learn more than four moves. I think I'll go ahead and just not get Sleep Powder. I've got Stun Spore and Poison Powder as is. Oh my god. It's a friggin' Zubat. I thought we left the caves. Like, seriously, when I was going through Mount Moon, it was like every ten steps... It was Zubat. And it was like, okay, I need a bat right now. 
but <laughs> yeah, my Pokemon are doing decently well. Um, have a, I'm really nervous about actually going through because I really want Butterfree to learn Gust because I know it'll learn Gust at some point soon. Pikachu became confused. Try quick attack. Come on, Pikachu. That's an, that. Ah! Heck with it. Magikarp, finish this! <laughs> I'm gonna confuse the enemy by using you! <laughs> but it's just, like. I've always wondered about that. If Magikarp, or if, it, like, any Pokemon. When they use... When they get confused... Okay, that's... For those of you who are not accustomed to the military, that is the horn that normally sounds at COB. Um, we got released early today, so I've been making a recording... Uh, when I normally would be at work. But, um... The... It's the horn that so sounds... We do have uh, three tunes that do play quite normally. It's Reveille that plays in the morning. It's Retreat that plays at night. And then there's uh, Taps, which plays every single night. Um, many people... I do remember partial the whole story behind TAPS because my father sent me it, the email, and if I remember correctly, it's uh, um, a man and his son were having an argument about what went on with the Civil War, and so the son chose to join, I think it was the Union? Or, no, it was the Confederate. It's been a while since I was last in, uh, history class. But, uh, the son went over to the Confederate Army and joined them while the father ended up getting enlisted in the Union Army. And at one battle, the father is going through the dead after the fight, and he finds his son's body, understanding that he may have been the one to kill his own son. And his son had always had a talent for music, and so when the father searched the son's belongings, he found a sheet of music. He went to the his company commander trying to get burial for his son and the commander would only offer one instrument which was a bugle and so that's kind of, that's from what the email told me that's where the origin origin of taps is taps is played at every military funeral um but anybody who's been around the military for a hot minute knows that um you, we respect the dead a lot, and I have no idea what I was going, what was the point of that little tangent, but I was just probably talking out my ass. <clears throat> we just reached 14 minutes, so I'm actually really happy. Uh, getting all this, getting used to playing this is a lot of fun. I'm gonna try and get a few of my friends to join in, because I think it would be so much fun and then get like group chat going so we can all talk while doing this yeah butterfree's bug you're not as affected by fighting moves but i got a psychic move that'll shove a boot up your ass machop so yeah butterfree's awesome Let's see, where is Magikarp's at? Level 16. 
And... Poison powder. Why not? That way I have something to do while I'm not attacking. Ouch! Listen, ooh! Someone spiffy! Much up, karate chop! <sighs> that sucked. You worked hard. No kitty, man. One thing I do like is how even if the Pokemon's KO'd, it'll still follow you if you have either the Heart Gold or the Soul Silver downloaded. Or the ROMs downloaded with it. And there's. Here it comes. Yeah, that's just something you get used to when you live on a military post. Uh, I still live in the barracks, and so I'm kind of right next door to one of the horns. And I really didn't want to knock out that oddish. Oh well. It happens. If it was like a legendary, I'd be shitting bricks right now. I remember in red and blue, one had Oddish and the other had, uh, one had Oddish and the other had Bellsprout. I remember that. What? Did we freeze up again? Uh-oh. Houston, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Oh, let's see. Magikarp, that's enough. Come back! Anyway, I'm probably after this fight gonna just go ahead and go through, uh, pass through, show you Bill, and then that'll be it. Um, I am looking for anybody willing to work with me on this to try and kind of grow my channel. I know, given the fact that I'm really, really new at this, makes it a little difficult for me to want to do this. Uh, I will be posting vids of myself and my guild running through and doing stuff probably next, this coming weekend. So, that'll probably end up being what happens, so... There we go, Bellsprout's data was added to the Pokedex. Bellsprout was transferred to someone's PC. Poison and grass. Ooh, that'll be really nice against water Pokemon. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll save meeting Bill for the next time. So, till then, this is Alexander Strife, signing off.